Ready? All right. So this is the sternum. The whole thing here is the sternum. The sternum can be broken into three regions, a manubrium, a body, and a xiphoid process. The manubrium and the body are actually connected together at a point right here called the sternal angle. It is called that because these two areas come together and form just a bit of an angle right there, creating kind of a curvature. The body and the xiphoid process actually join together right about here at what's called the xiphy sternal joint. That's what that is. At the top of the manubrium, we have three depressions, two on either side of this middle one here. The middle one is called the jugular notch, indicated by this blue dot. On either side of the jugular notch, right here, is the clavicular notch, which is where the clavicle actually sits, the sternal end of the clavicle will sit right there. Now, you will see here that there are these structures here attaching to the sternum. These are actually what are called coastal cartilages. They're made up of hyaline cartilage. They're actually a subcategory of hyaline cartilage. This tissue attaches the ribs to the sternum. The first seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attach directly to the sternum. And so the ribs that attach here are considered vertebral sternal. They're also classified as what we would call true ribs. Eight, nine, and 10 attach to cartilaginous tissue. They don't correct, connect directly to that of the sternum. They actually connect to cartilage, which then connects to cartilage, or connect cartilage that then connects to cartilage, and then that connects to the sternum. And so these don't connect directly to the sternum, and thus the ribs that connect here are called vertebral chondral. They're also classified as false ribs. There are two more ribs that would not attach at all to that of the sternum, and these two ribs are classified as vertebral. They're also known as floating ribs, but they're considered faults as well. So they would be faults and floating. Okay.